So, I feel to a certain extent that this episode was most likely a, uh, p- uh, pretty much, you know, an opportunity to, you know, lay the groundwork for the plot of the whole show, the series, you know, concerning future episodes, and I'll explain why I think that. So, uh, the first thing I kind of want to talk about is when our main character is just sitting on the rocks at night looking at a lake and then in comes uh, the girl horn and they talk and she kind of ends up just giving him a quick kiss on the lips i guess and then she runs out inside to go to sleep and she also tells him you know, you should go to sleep too because we have a big day tomorrow. And then, um, pretty much after that scene, uh, there wasn't much, uh, only the, it was pretty much an explanation of, um, their journey to the woods. And, um, I also want to talk about the last scene that happened in the episode. So, we get into this these, I guess, woods, and then this, I guess, this boy runs, and his, he tells them to hide with them, and so they hide, like, in a tree hole, and he, he kind of uses magic to cover the hole, the tree, the hole in the tree, so the, the one hunting him wouldn't, you know, suspect anything, but you know, he later revealed, you know, his, um, I guess his, um, I don't know, his, like, a leopard of some kind, and, you know, he has incredible healing, so that allows them to hear the heartbeats, and, you know, he ends up finding the boy and trying to, you know, kind of kill them until, you know, our professor Alexis intervenes with him and you know his she's battling with him while the her students you know take him away take him back to his home village and he says you know since I'm a mercenary it's not in my job description to do that uh, as long as, you know, he's going back to the village, he, he should be safe or it should be good. And he kind of reveals, you know, he knows a lot about, you know, people or things that's happening between them. Like, he knows about the special training, he knows their name and their, kind of, the professor's weapons. So he does know a lot. And... I hope, you know, like I said in the future episodes, they explore that plot to why he knows so much when obviously he shouldn't know um, what people have or anything. So I do wonder about that, you know, how does he know all this stuff? And to end off the episode, um, it ends with the boy, the boy arriving to this church or I guess his it's his home and there's this man that he calls the priest and you know his I guess his blind or he has a blindfold on and that's where kind of the episode ends per se I think so overall I mean I enjoyed the episode for what it was do hope you know moving forward they do explain the plots that kind of arose in this episode um and like you know the backstory of the that man and you know is he a mage because i saw like he was carrying a staff but it was wrapped in cloth so it was very hard to tell whether it was the staff or just like you know a walking stick but i hope you know they like 
dig for it more as the series goes on but that's it for me thank you please leave a like if you subscribe i mean if you enjoy my content subscribe if you like my content and want more and comment your thoughts and opinions about the episode down below thank you and goodbye